So uh, my presentation was over hydroelectric energy, um, brought to you by <laughs> Urban Dale Power and you, uh, UPE. Um, so uh, hydroelectricity is considered a renewable energy source because um, it doesn't use any of the like it doesn't reduce the quantity of the water it's using. It just pretty much cycles it through the process. Uh, it starts like obviously up here in the dams, and then uh, it slows down, powers the turbines here, and then they get sent to the uh, generators underneath, which send the uh, electricity through the transmitters to uh, and the power grids to homes and industries. Uh, but it, it doesn't really matter whether it's small size or large size, it's all totally renewable. Uh, and they're, uh, it's made usable when the uh, kinetic energy of that flowing water um, is pumped into these generators through the turbines up by the flowing water of the dam. And then this is, you can't really read any of this text, but then the water is pumped back out into the lake, river, um, whatever, after they harvest the energy from it. And the, uh, if this is where the water level is, and it's down here, the greater this like stretch that height is, the more energy it's able to uh, accumulate and produce. Um, the requirements of building one of these is pretty much just the um, dam, the uh, generators, and all like the equipment within the um, systems. So like again, the generators, um, like all the housing, um, and then the the main things for like finding location is that um, either river or lake for the dam. And then uh, pretty much like canyons, uh, it really depends on the, the elevation too because of that effectiveness. Because if it's going to cost however much to make it, they got to make sure it's going to eventually come out um, like positive uh, for energy source. And then how it all works, I pretty much have been explaining it, but they have these gates and they open to let the water in. And it's called a penstock. The water flow into here and then it spins this turbine which then sends it to the generator and it's stored in the powerhouse which the transformer then sends out through cables to homes again facilities or just general um, things that need power and the this is again just where the water goes and this is also what explains how the um, the higher this elevation is the more blood can get here to get more Effectiveness. Um, emerging technologies are like um, more effective kinetic energy turbines. Um, this image here is just like it's completely AI generated, but it's just an uh, image that can show if you maximize like the uh, storage of it, how you can really get all that flow. Because this is like, just like a river; it's not even a dam. Hmm. Um, but you can really like if there were turbines in every single one of these, it can really maximize that. Um, like all of these compared to two of these giant ones, for example, and then this is a dam as well. So the ones on the rivers are a lot more accessible because rivers are a lot more um, just e easy to find than dams because there's not as many canyons and right. um, valleys. And then also, um, what is it? It's the new um, fins on the turbines to maximize the effectiveness of that like spin and energy. Um, well, it's, they're called, I'm pretty sure they're called J fins, or J grooves. And then um, it maximizes the injection emission and the water injection velocity of it. So that was one of them. And then the two phase air water injection, that also, um, that's to do with the generator and the water, uh, the energy flow into it and it maximized the energy storage, and then they're also looking at battery hybrids and smart modeling, which the smart modeling is kind of just this these concept models and stuff. Um, so they haven't really done anything like that though yet? No. Like just, for like, just, that's just like a straight up river. Mm -hmm. So you'd have a lot less infrastructure costs, probably, I would mm -hmm. think, yeah. this, as a huge dam, but. You can't really tell because that's blurry, so it doesn't look that bad, but on here you can totally tell it's dam. Yeah, because the problem, I mean, the hydroelectric is awesome. I mean, it's like really, really awesome. The problem is you, you got to have certain places where you constantly are always going to have the water flow and you have to have enough exactly. of it, and that's going to be limited yeah, for with, the, the with really the dams. Big ones. Yeah. 
Yeah. What are the what are the really big dams in the United States? You know. Hoover. Um, then there's I didn't really look into that. I know Hoover's like the only one I can ever name. Yeah. Same. Sailorville. Hey, you know, technically, yeah. I mean, but I mean, that's not huge, huge. Yeah, but I mean, huge, yeah, Sailorville Dam is yeah. you know one. Red Rock. I can't remember which one this is, um, but that that one is one of the bigger ones. I I forgot to pull that name for images. And then here are my sources. This one, um, it's blocked on the Chromebooks, so I couldn't like I used it on these. Okay. But when I tried to pull it to do okay. my sites, it would. Right. So. Yeah, it would be interesting how many. Like how many dams there are in each state, like, you know. Here, should I look that up? So, all right. Question? Yeah. Um, is there any, like, negative trade-off at all to, like, this? Because, um, like, I feel like if it was just, just water pouring into it and it was spinning for energy, like, that's a bit, like, perfect. Like, that's all. It's really just that, like, initial building. Like, if it's And, like, if finding it's a good spot for water. And yeah, like, if you're... It's almost like with a business, if you're not going to come out on top within a certain amount of years, it's just not worth it in the end. Because uh, by the time that, like, say it's 50 years till we're on top with what we spent or whatever, like, that's just way too long. Because by that time that 50 years is up, there's going to be newer technologies that just make it way more efficient. This going to cost it. Did you figure out how, how much it costs to build, like, a huge? No. Huge, I mean, it's going to be a lot of money so, for a huge dam. Here's all of them. Uber, Yorkshire. Garrison, that's actually. Um, yeah, these are all the canyon ones. Some of these are the big ones? Yeah. Um, here, hold on. I'll just look up cost of Uber. $49 million. $49 million? Mm -hmm. That was back when it probably was built. I mean, that was back in the... This is approximately 76. 76 760 million adjusted to Adjusted, today's, yeah. Like today's okay. cost. Actually, that's, that still seems cheaper than what I thought. I thought I thought it might be even the billions. Yeah, the power plant and generators cost an additional seventy-one million. Okay. So. All right. All right. Good job.